Hey guys, in this mini course, we're going to be looking at ES6 or ECMAScript 6, also known as ES2015. And we're going to look at all the new features and see what's changed and improved in the latest version of JavaScript. So what is ECMAScript? ECMAScript is a scripting language standard and specification. And languages like JavaScript, JScript, ActionScript, these are all based on the ECMAScript standard. All right, but in this series, we'll be focusing on uh, solely on JavaScript. So ES6 is the most recent version of ECMAScript or JavaScript. Uh, it's a very significant update. There's a lot of new changes to the syntax and, and just how things work. Uh, it's been the first major update since ES5, which was uh, released way back in 2009. And ES6 and ES2015 are the same thing, okay? They're different names for the same thing. Some of the goals of ES6 were to make JavaScript taken more seriously. Um, not so much now, but in the past, a lot of a lot of developers didn't look at JavaScript as a as a real as a high level programming language. Um, but now with ES6, we've added classes and things that make it look more like you know something like Java or some you know a respected programming language. They obviously fix some issues from ES5. As with any software update, you want to look at you know bugs and things that just throw people off and fix those issues. Backward compatibility, so it's very important that ES5 code works uh, in an ES6 environment. Modern syntax, of course, we want to um, you know stay up to date with with certain syntaxes um, such as classes better scaling and better for big applications okay so JavaScript is now being used for these big applications as opposed to just um, you know doing some some slideshow or something like that um, you know of course with Node.js you can run JavaScript on the server and uh, it can be pretty powerful also just having new features in the standard JavaScript library so you can use things like classes without having to use TypeScript or or uh, any kind of um, you know third-party extension so compatibility we still have quite a ways to go for all the browsers to, to be caught up um, you know like IE 11 obviously there's always been issues with Internet Explorer um, the latest version of Chrome and Firefox are just about there uh, in fact we'll take a look at the chart at the Kangex website which shows us exactly what browsers um, include what ES6 features also of course you can use transpilers to compile ES6 code into ES5 I'll show you how to do that with Babel um, there's also tracer closure and um, some other ones as well so if you were to build a production application right now and you wanted to use ES6 you should use some kind of um, transpiler because you don't know uh, what your users are using as far as browsers so what's new in ES6 okay, there's a bunch of new concepts and syntaxes um, the let and the const declaration let is basically a replacement for var but what's good about let is that it gives you um, it gives you block scope local variables so for instance when you use var it sets the the variable globally all right so if you set a variable in a global scope and then you put it inside of a loop or a function it's going to still be that local variable with let we can we can limit the scope to whatever a function or a loop or whatever it may be uh, which is really helpful and also const which is for constants that don't change all right we'll obviously take a look at these in action the destruct destructuring assignment this helps us extract data from arrays and objects into distinct variables all right classes and inheritance is a huge is a huge deal um, we can now we don't have to use prototyped based objects we can actually create classes we can extend and inherit them uh, just like languages like Java and PHP template strings which is one of my favorite uh, features of ES6 we don't have to use concatenation anymore we can just use backticks instead of quotes and we can include variables we can bind data and it's just really helpful so we have some new string features we have new math and number features which we'll go over uh, new data structures we can use um, map and set 
and weak map and weak set, which we'll go over later. Uh, iterators, generators, which are functions that can basically be paused and yield a value and then be and then continue. All right, as many times as needed. Promises and asynchronous data. Okay, we can use promises to work with uh, asynchronous data, and then arrow functions, which are also really helpful, uh, which use a lexical this, which I'll talk about in a little bit. All right, so enough of the slides. In the next video, we're going to set up Babel so that I can show you how to compile ES6 code into ES5 so that it's compatible with just about every browser.